It's the OCG Fam Show. Today we're talking about whether you should use wetting agents and specifically about Hygieia Hydration. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> hey there, Bob from Oregon. I'm having a little limeade because of the, the heat. It's very refreshing. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. So we've been doing a bunch of episodes about foliar feeding and we've talked about this topic before but uh, this was a good little clip where we talked a little more about it that I think would be informative is uh, using Hygieia Hydration because a lot of times when you're doing foliar with other lines and with other things you use a wetting agent to get the stuff to dwell on the leaf but that's not always or not usually the case when using nectar for some reasons that we go into in the video and I think you might find it interesting even if you've uh, heard it before because you know Scott's an interesting guy so watch the clip I'll talk to you after. Hygieia wetting agent. Yeah. I think a lot of people think that's for the leaves, which certainly it is. But it it's is. like it's it's that's not with your line, our line, your line, the 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 main thrust of it, right? No, I mean it is a wetter sticker. It's also a fungal food for the soil root zone. Uh -huh. For feeding plants, it doesn't we don't want that You want it to get in there and not be I don't want it to hold, I want it to go in. I want it yeah. to not, and the thing with sapping in is it's literally like little bubbles that, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're soapy bubbles that yeah. kind of get around all of the different elements of the nutrition uh -huh. and it will hold it there, but I want it not to hold there, I want it to go in there. So yeah. I don't put the Hygieia in with my feeds, I, only, I mean my foliar feeds, I only put it in my root feed uh -huh. and for pest control. And then if you had like some sort of, you dried the thing out or something issue? Is that kind of the same? Yeah, if you dried like, your leaves out, they're dead. Yeah. So no, I mean off. for in the soil. Well, that's it. Is I'll yeah. add it to my my every root zone time hydration. for. If I'm, I mean, I personally yeah. don't add it every time. Because you're good. I, yeah, we live in a very humid region, so my soil oh. really, really gets super dry. But if my soil becomes super dry, or you buy a brand new bag of soil that's just hydrophobic and it just won't absorb, Hygieia is great for breaking that that surface area. So are area. there places or indoor conditions where your Hygieia in every feeding because you're trying oh, to yeah. keep your Arizona surface? Arizona and yeah. Texas and so The water's LA. just getting wicked out or sucked out of the... Yeah, if the plants oh. are transpiring a lot too, then it's not a bad oh. idea to put a foliar protection on there just to create that shell to keep the plants from transpiring. But you don't want to stop plants from transpiring. It's their way of breathing. Yeah. So if you stop them from dripping out their moisture, I mean, they let it out through their foliage. Hey, what do you think of that? Informative? Entertaining? Do you use Hygieia at all? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments. Let's uh, let's discuss. It'll be fun. Uh, that's the show for today. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.